Hi, I'm Angie Taylor, a motion graphic designer who's been using After Effects in my work since 1996. I'm also the author of two books on After Effects and regularly tour trade shows and seminars showing off my After Effects techniques. In this course, I'll share some of my favourite tips, particularly ones based around new features from After Effects CS6. Together with my partner, Todd Capriva, I'll show you how to make the most of Adobe After Effects CS6. I'll cover the aspects of the software that relate to motion graphic design, including the brand new Ray Traced 3D engine that allows you to extrude and bend text and other layers. We'll see how to convert vectors from Adobe Illustrator into shape layers and learn how to best take advantage of new camera and lighting options. We'll also work with the brand new 3D camera tracker, using it to composite elements into a shot, matching complex camera moves with ease. Once you've completed this enjoyable and easygoing video training, you should be familiar enough with all of the tools to find your own way. Your confidence will grow and you'll become a better motion graphic designer as a result. So what are you waiting for? Dive right in and enjoy. Happy keyframing. Hi, I'm Todd Capriva. I worked for Adobe on the After Effects team for several years. I was the documentation lead for After Effects 7, CS3, CS4, and CS5, and now I'm a technical support lead. In these roles, it has been my job and my joy to help people learn how to use After Effects. And now, I'm happy that I have the opportunity to teach you Adobe After Effects CS6. This course doesn't just show you the basics of Adobe After Effects. It also teaches you what you'll need to know to take your skills to the next level. And because it's my daily job to help people to work around and through problems with After Effects, I'm in the perfect position to show you how to avoid these common obstacles. Together with my fellow trainer, Angie Taylor, we'll be showing you how to effectively use Adobe After Effects CS6. We'll give you an overview of the workflow and the user interface, and then you will learn how to bring assets into After Effects. We'll explain how to configure After Effects for optimum performance, focusing on the global performance cache and persistent disk cache features that were added in Adobe After Effects CS6. You'll learn a range of compositing features, including the new variable width masks and 3D camera tracker features introduced in After Effects CS6, as well as basic masking and color keying. Throughout this course, you'll work with real footage and create your own motion graphics elements. We'll also introduce you to a variety of tips and techniques that you may not need to use right away, but that could become indispensable when the time comes to troubleshoot or solve a tricky problem. As much as After Effects is powerful, it's also fun. After you've completed this course, you should be familiar enough with all its tools to be able to experiment and find ways to express yourself and be productive in motion graphics, visual effects, and compositing. We hope that you enjoy the training and use what you learn to create some great movies.